This week's featured installation is in the Blue Mountains, New South Wales. Today we have 36 panels totaling 15.84 kilowatts across three roof faces and a Tesla Powerwall battery. This install is led by team leader and CEC accredited electrician Arden and his crew of Wade, Tyson and Will. Today the boys are mic'd up for the panel lay. Yeah, I did a bit of a system removal as well. Mic'd up for the battery install and the switchboard works for an in-depth behind the scenes look at a Penrith Solar Center install. So let's get straight into it. So we had to change the design of the layout it's because the roof's been painted since the old system was installed. And so um, in order to cover it up so the owners didn't have to paint it again, we've just, um, just moved the whole array up and shifted two panels to another face. Other than that, just another standard day of solar, living the dream. Did the cable run as well. I thought for sure, because um, we're up in the mountains, Nice cladded house, it's just like, oh yeah, the roof space is going to be almost cathedral type. But no, it was actually really good. A bit upset, I wanted to claim that too, but you and Arden already got into it yeah. before me and Tyson. Got I up. thought you and Tyson were going to get on it. We were getting on it. We literally jumped Yeah, up. then I heard, and then Arden was like, oh, jump in the roof with me. Lining up the panels to be exactly where you're ready to be. All right, so bring it towards me, your top towards me, keep coming, keep coming. Uh, back towards you. Yeah, set that. Um, we're just sort of getting the panel somewhat straight, just to make our lives a bit easier. But um, little tricks some people do, I like to do it just to ensure straightness, because I like to sort of have a look at the end, sort of get it roughly where you think it is. And then I'll lay, lay two extra panels, so it'll be three panels all, all up. And then just um, and then just check it again, and if it's all good off the initial mark, and then you're good to go to keep laying. But sometimes it just needs to be a little bit of extra readjusting, just because you're only looking at like, what's this, like a Nine, nine meter run and I'm only determining it off like a meter panel. So it's hard to th get things straight. Off that First initial, go anyway. yeah, off the initial go. Like some people can, like, not gonna lie, I've done it before. Tyson's done it before, Arden's done it before. Usually we'd be um, pumping some Taylor Swift, Olivia Rodrigo while we lay, but we thought, you know, it's cause we're mic'd up, try to, try to be good for the viewers. And plus, like, oh, you don't want to hear us singing. Yeah, a um, little, little Nico in the service department. I think, I think his brother patterned these and it's good for space in the panels. Also, I use it for a level. It makes it a bit easier rather than a lot of the boys use the bottom of the batteries, but that works pretty well. It, it works well. I, I like to, you know, get a proper straight edge. Being, okay. Being very nice. I like to have a, you know, a true straight edge. You go there. You yeah, happy with that? Go the other end. Have a look. <laughs> Another look. I'm just ensuring that the panels are leveled. Don't want a Tyson level over here. A lot of the times it's hard. A lot of people go off the, um, the white cell lines on the panels, but in this particular, particular case, the screw line isn't straight and you can see it from the get-go. It's all snaky, so it looks like over there in that midline, you touch below the middle and then that one over there a bit closer, but then you come to this one here and you're pretty much back in the middle of the mid. It's the screw lines are cooked. Yeah, the screw lines is cooked. You know, this house was built probably like 50 odd years ago and 
Oh, they've done a re rid on the roof, haven't they? No, I wouldn't say so. The screws are all rusted. It. Yeah, I just I just say they painted it. No sagging cables around here. Yeah, so the customers just approved the layout that we're going to run with. So more or less, it's going to look like the gateway, the Tesla gateway is going to sit roughly about here. And then I've marked out a hole where our cables are going to penetrate through the wall to get into the gateway. And I've already confirmed in the switchboard here that I can get a safe um, unobstructed passage through into the gateway. So once I've got those holes, I'll be able to hopefully send some tongues up and down the wall to work out what studs or noggins are in here and conceal as much cabling for the batteries and for the solar as possible. And then our solar, our solar box, the iBoard, will ideally go above the gateway. That way the, the wall doesn't look overly cluttered and it'll shorten the run to the roof for the solar as well. And then with a bit of luck, I'll be able to get all of this stuff in the wall with as little conduit as possible because conduit will definitely take away from the prettiness of the job at the end. But yeah, it's all, it's all pretty well confirmed. The customer's well on board with it. And then you can clearly see here that the boys are well underway with the great job of running the cables under the house. They're getting stuck into it. And then we've got Wade around the corner doing the battery mounts and then, yeah. I've, I can see the two screws, the two sets of screws here, obviously running vertically, that there's probably gonna be a stud here and you can confirm that with all the screws below it. So you can make a pretty safe assumption that that's screwed into a stud. And then from there, I've just got a hole in here on a very slight angle. And I've worked out that the stud roughly will finish, finish about here. So if I can get a hole that's gonna overlap, I'll be able to get all of my cables safely. And then I'll bush the hole, very similar to what these guys have done all through here to make sure that none of the cables scratch or get damaged on the way through. And then, yeah, it's just delivering a better product. Brenton and Danilo's 48 panel Swiss. No, I think it's Spanish terracotta. Spanish terracotta, 30 degrees. At least it didn't have bees. Yep, go there. I'm gonna get a bit tight now so the ropes are sort of moved over. So I'm gonna go over your basket. You got the positive and negative end of the, of the uh, panels here. Clipping them all on us up to the panel using some DC clips just so there's no sagging cables. You know, just for the off chance that the wind blows them around, wears down the insulation and potentially causes a short circuit to the roof. Like we do, we do earth the whole system. Like we earth the rail, earth the panels. Just, um, just, to, just in case all that does unfortunately happen. But since my time here, I've never come to that conclusion. Yeah, go there. But yeah. Love these little DC clips. But at the end of the day, you can look underneath, underneath of the system and it looks like the whole system's done via Bluetooth. So I like call it wireless installation. <laughs> Bluetooth solar panels. Yeah, at the end of the day, you kind of want to Look, look up or look down from the roof, wherever you are, and just sort of only see the penetrations to the roof sticking out. So obviously you can't really hide those. Oh, it's oh, not brilliant. bad. It was a bit chilly in the morning, but really, I reckon this is ideal in-store. Mm. Panels aren't too hot to touch, they're not wearing gloves. It's not, you know, it's not raining. Not that you work in the rain. Which isn't slippery. Yeah, tins. But grippy tin as well. Yeah, I love grippy tin. Is that better? Like a well-oiled machine. Too much, use... too much talk back. <laughs> I think we're using the wrong oil, bro. What was that? I think we got the wrong oil. <laughs> Good? Uh, I got the panel, bro. You wanna... Yeah, alright. I'm just sort of like guiding it down so it doesn't hit me. If your rope's underneath, Underneath the rail, you should be fine. Yeah, but I don't want to sort of like kick it up when I go to move across, you know? That's Castle Tana. I love Castle Tana. 
Um, it was a very hard one to find. What is it? Um, flow state. Yeah. Bro, best best vinyl I've ever listened to. Like, well, actually, no, tell a lie. My, my best vinyl I've listened to was Shlomo. Oh, that one you talking that, yeah, about? Yeah, that one that we listened to at one time. Yeah. Um, and I listened to it at Isaac's. The cuts ended up pretty good. Yeah, no, the cuts are actually bang on. Rail's good too. There you go, there you go. That clampstone looks a bit odd. That's all right. If you just hold it up. Yeah, I got. Much your hands. Yeah, set that over there. Hey, I'll say it once and I'll say it again. This level, I reckon I'm something special with leveling. I think you're pretty special, bro. Your yeah. Nova employment, yeah, like your Nova employment sticker yeah. showed it this morning. <laughs> you know how like all the um, yeah, you get some people that are good at like drawing. I think my my gift is like leveling panels, or leveling rail essentially. That's on. Um, yesterday. It took yes, just like half an hour to get those panels straight. No, that's straight. That's straightening the panels. Yeah. They, I, it's I'm making happy, them level. I'm happy to spend that time getting panels straight. Yeah. Well, usually when you're on the bottom row like we were, there's like a lot of, a lot of help from Will up top because he's pretty much holding the weight of the panel, whilst I do, you know, put the DC clips in. So like, sometimes it takes a bit because it's a little bit, like. The trunking can get in the way, and you know it's just like a bit of an ass for him to hold the panel for so long. Whereas once the bottom panel's laid, you can um, just go off the top. Yeah, so you, go there. In. you can just lean it up against the previous one, so he doesn't have to hold the panel, the full panel, and then um, you know and it ultimately is still going to be just as straight. Because if you straighten up the bottom row and just lay on top of it. By all meanings, the top should be just as straight. And obviously, once you get more and more into it, you start working with the boys and the crew, you get yourself a bit of a bit of a rhythm going. And at that state, you're just sort of knocking over three, four stacks in half an hour, really. Is that the other way? Yeah. Yeah, it's the other way. A little light, little obstacle with that, um, antenna but we should clear it oh that'd be fine like they're just like the initial lift yeah it's just gonna be a bit tight but she's leveraged when you're holding the panel uh what you wrote you on the midline i'm on it you know what i love this camel pack but it's gets some pain sometimes but you can't put a price on hydration 60 bucks. Nah, bro. <laughs> well, if you go off the camel pack's worth it. Okay, so in the gateway, you've got things like, obviously your batteries will come through it. Um, your mains from the house will get rerouted from the switchboard into the gateway where they'll be measured in real time to tell you what current's being drawn from the grid. And then from the gateway, they're obviously sent back into the switchboard and distributed out to the circuits. Um, the big brains of the, of the gateway are actually over there where everything will terminate. But this, is, this box here is, is responsible for your backed up circuits and all of your monitoring for the Tesla app. It's all done in that one big box. It's the brains of the operation. Yeah, from there, it'll spit down onto the house where the boys are currently running the cable and making sure that that's clipped up and supported appropriately. Um, because it's under the house too, it'll help because it's cooler under there, so I don't have to worry about as many derating factors for the cable. And then it's gonna come down onto the house, clipped all the way around to the other side where Wade's putting the battery, and then we'll fix it up there. It's on a nice southern wall as well, so I don't have to worry about excessive sun exposure for the battery so that's another bonus so yeah it's all working out very well i would jag it the whole way to the end that's what you're doing. where it's open yeah and, and then, then from there straight across yeah if you do so right now i've just obviously packed out the 
bracket so that it sits flush along the wall and it doesn't, you know, because it's cladding, it's sort of naturally leaning forward and if you try to screw it in, it's just gonna be all over the shop and bending the bracket. So pack that out so that sits now flush and straight. Um, I've just drilled a hole here for the cable entry, the rear entry of the Tez, so you know you don't have that conduit all over the place. I've just tried to tongue down, but the boys under the house would just have a bit of a trouble trying to, and I obviously would have been hard trying to get the tongue through the one hole, whereas they have three holes to go through and I have a lot more variation. I can grab a hook wire and just sort of reach all the way around, whereas they probably couldn't do it from under the house. So you know, it's just opted for the easier, easier route for everyone. Um, and then I've made sure I've shoved a tongue up there, made sure we can get to these two holes here for the isolator, which is a requirement. And um, yeah, we'll just go under the house drill hole in the bottom plate and get the cables up to the isolator and through the isolator to the battery and, you know, clean install, no conduit needed. You should be able to get it, obviously. Like you might even see this old redundant pipe as well. I see that, yeah, it's you just can... a drip pipe, isn't it? Yeah, it's for old pressure relief for the old hot water service. So like, if you see that in there, you know, you come pretty much center of that that bay, yeah. drill a hole, then you just take the tongue with you and try to tongue up, and I'll hook it in from here. Just as long as it's in this, in, in this bay, yeah. we're, we're good as gold. Cool. And then that way, sort of, yeah, obviously we can come in through there. Um, yeah, I'll Tyson's just, just grabbing a, a tongue now. He's going to yeah. feed it down. So, but with the first one, only sorry in the six mil, because I'll just come through the six mil here. Oh, so you want the six mil through this one, and then the decker? No, we'll come the decker on straight into the oh, cool. um, battery. Oh, exactly. So like. So you'll just feed the tongue in twice. So once for the six mil to get that, mm -hmm. and then you'll feed it again for the Decron, and I'll just try to hook it in there. So I'll just need to grab my long nose pliers. That's fine. And then just, um, yeah, just be easier. It's all in the same It's all in the same, space. yeah, it's all the same bay. There's no, no timber noggins. Um, it should just be the bottom plate. I didn't check that, but it should just be the timber. Fingers crossed, hey. Grab the worst end. Is this a um, PowerPoint bracket? It's right there. That'd be the bottom plate. Yeah. Yeah. Because how, how does the brick go up? Like up? The, the brick goes up to about here, yeah. and then there's a big bearer, and then that's a floor joist. You'll see it. Yeah. No, I know what you're saying. Yeah. So um, just even if you just go in the middle, I can I can hook it either way. That's right. I just gotta find where it is relative to where I am. Yeah. Well, even if, if you. I think I ran the cable more in line to here. there. Around this side. Wait, well, I'll just, I'll just... even if you want to take like a rough estimate, it's going like pretty much there. That's sort of. Oh yeah, that'll work actually. It'd be good. It'd be good. And then just sort of just feed that in from the side of the house. And if you yeah. come pretty much within that bay, you're pretty much center of the. Yeah, cool. Oh, you're probably at the edge, so you can come a little bit more. But that gives you a rough estimate. You can look at the timbers. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh, so it's just one. It's one, it'll be one, two, two three, three, four. So it's between the fourth and the fifth side. Cool. All right. But yeah. <laughs> Mate, you've already I got it. Doesn't it look like you've added much like actual